What's up my people? How in a day within they happen within this sub? Welcome back to our channel and happy weekend my people. Let us quickly talk about Teruke products. Those of you that have been watching, you know, my videos, they have Teruke stew, they have um, the pepper soup, and they stew with beef without beef, right? They have pepper soup, they have a goosey, they have moi moi. Now, aside from the fact that your product could stay one year without going bad, you know, in the pouch or cans, their moi moi is something that I classify as food on the go, right? You can eat it anywhere. If you are the type of person who don't mind, right, whether your food, your food is warm or cool, if you that type, then you can eat the moi moi anytime, any day. I've said this before, they have targeted audience, you know, before establishing this company. What am I trying to say? Anyway you are, I just feel like getting cooked food, right? You don't want to stress yourself and you don't feel like getting snacks. You really want to get that African food. This is the product for you. That is their targeted audience. If you're that person, you can easily order and immediately start eating the food. Immediately you open, you can start eating the food. If you have microwave around, warm it up and eat. It's healthy, no preservatives, just natural, 100% natural. Guys, all you have to do is call the number showing on the screen. And guys, note, while doing this, don't forget to let them know that it's for Mexican Crown. They will attach a gift alongside your product or whatever you order. How did it taste, sir? Uh, it tastes nice. Um, it's good. It's very, 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 good. very good. How rich is it in taste? Mm, it's very rich. Very rich. Yeah. Can you rate uh, it from 1 to 100, sir? Yeah. From 1 to 100. Yeah, I, I give you 80. Thank uh, you very you much. just need to like add... A spoon, a spoon, a spoon to eat, to eat it. Yeah, okay, okay, like okay. All right, today's news. Whiskey Davido argument. Are we still on this? No, seriously, I'm, I'm curious. Like, are we still on this? I've seen commenters or fans or subscribers in the comment section, either on my video or someone else's video. I've seen people fight and stuff. And, and I feel like we've gone to a point where we can talk about these things argue but not fight like real fight i've seen adults fight because of this and i noticed that people are still abusing the other person because of whiskey than davido move on people it's okay to argue but don't be don't be toxic <laughs> towards each other just because of whiskey and davido this should be like a last year thing and now we should be talking about new artists you can just argue it's fine but don't fight and abuse somebody's father because of these guys who don't really even know you yes let us move to the next one whiskey and rema congratulations to you guys these guys are part of the nominees for best international act mobile awards shout out to you guys the same you know categories as um, people like kanye west drake doja cat leonas x mega de stallion that's that's huge i must say another nomination uh, here is um best african music act mobile awards still mobile awards we've got Ira Star there, Bonner Boy, Nigerians on this list. How many Nigerians? Let us count, guys. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Nigerians. They have one Ghanaian and NSG. We're killing it. We are killing it. And I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud to be a Nigerian, you know, when it comes to music. <laughs> <laughs> or the entertainment industry okay guys let us move straight to the next one here we've got a guy that said squid game might be connected to nigeria and he explained he didn't just um say that he gave reasons and, and thinking about it you you were going to watch the video but it just sounds convincing <laughs> like seriously he also said that the game is all about that is the movie it's all about a crazy imbalance of the rich and the poor in nigeria and guys 
let me know do you agree or not let's watch there's a theory that squid game mm -hmm. might actually be connected to nigeria really okay i was not expecting that it's very odd right very yeah. odd what do you mean nigeria what are you talking about I was right specific so take this in uh -huh. somebody in my dms actually sent me this he said you know those symbols the triangle the circle and the, and the square mm -hmm. it's on the nigerian money whoa shit so it's on up. the nigerian bills so you see That's that the circle crazy. triangle and square now yeah the track suits they wear mm -hmm. right are green right green and red yeah, the green and then the red are like the guards. Yeah. But players themselves, green tracksuits. Mm -hmm. Now in the prisons in Nigeria, the color of their jumpsuits is green. Are green. Whoa. So saying they're like trying to expose something. Conspiracy is yeah. that they're trying to show and they're trying to represent the crazy imbalance of rich and poor within All Nigeria. All right. That makes sense. Um, DJ Copy's um, interview surfaced online recently where he talked about Kid Wire, her relationship with Kid, Kid Wire. I think they dated at some point. That's what I think. But I knew they were close, right? But she really isn't vocal about them, you know, dating in the past, both of them. Uh, so I don't know. But there's something she says close to the end of this particular snippet she said i still don't know what kid wire kid wire's job is like what it does for a living well what i got from social media that people ended up thinking i was like obsessed with kid no i felt okay like... how would you feel if you had a friend that was genuinely like think about a normal guy friend right now that's not in the spotlight just a friend you have him in your head yeah Next time you see him, he's on Big Brother Nigeria. But this is what I was saying. You had an issue with the shift of dynamics in anyone, your relationship. Yeah, anyone would. The way he was reacting was coming from a place of like, you didn't really know how the dynamic of your relationship was anymore. If that yeah, makes, uh, makes well, sense. Well, because imagine that friend is someone that you're cool with, whatever. And then next thing you meet them and they're like, oh, wait, wait, I need to put my sunglasses on. You know, like they're doing, and kid, yeah. Great guy, but Kid knows. Kid is, he's, all, he's born for this superstar shit. Was there a little bit of jealousy there? As in like, before he was obviously in his own right, yeah, his family. No, kid, yeah, Kid always said he, which freaks me out. Kid always said he wanted to be famous. So I probably should have picked up on that. And I think that I'll admit it, it's difficult when you're used to being a certain person in the room. Right, okay. And I'm a human, and I'll say that. And I no, think I, I was, I I think I was too hard on him. Yeah. So I should actually celebrate his fame with him. But I still don't know what his job is. But then people might say that about you. Buju um, opens up on how he came up with the name Buju, his stage name. Uh, this is an interview with Hip TV. Let's watch. The name Buju came up in 2017 when I was writing okay. a poem and I was like, beauty underneath just understood. Mm. Like, so I was just trying to describe, you know, what I had, the talent I had, how beautiful it was, but mm. like, I need people to understand what it is about. So at the time I was listening to a lot of dancehall and reggae, okay. so I was checking up on Buju Banton and Buju I read Banton. the meaning. Okay. The meaning of Buju is like breadfruit. It's a... Nickname given to like chubby kids. Chubby kids. So, yeah. Okay, so I, I'm all... it fits so perfectly with me. Buju. So I was like, rah, bro. <laughs> it has to be my name. So I put the I put the meaning there as beauty underneath just understood. And mm. people were loving it. I mean I was loving it before I started putting it out and people started loving hey. it. So yeah, would you to your ears now? Beauty! Okay guys, here we have Uche Madwagu. Uche Madwagu said this. ESC should invite GO who own private jets with zero business empire. How did they buy it? Why go after Yahoo guys, but not Gio? Is this not a double standard? I have never seen an imam in a Ferrari, not to talk of private jets. Are they not serving God too? I'm not against that. But what I don't like is, and I've seen this, you know, um, multiple times on social media, people saying, oh, I've never seen imams with private jets, Ferrari, and stuff. That doesn't mean that these people are not stealing money. That doesn't mean that they aren't fake imams. I've heard stories, trust me, you know, about imams who... You understand what I'm trying to say? So we should just stop that. Pass your 
your message which is they should be investigated imams too you know religious leaders should be investigated too because they some of them use that their position to commit crime because yeah they will go unchecked most of them because oh he's a well-known pastor so when they get into this shady job or this shady business and have this business partners who got who got their money through shady means you understand what i'm trying to say he will use the opportunity of being in that position to outsmart you know the federal government you know just more like taking advantage of that he continues it is morally wrong for geo who owns private jets to criticize buari for corruption flying a million dollars um jet while your members swim inside the redeem and winners shipped poverty is high level spiritual yeah geos will tell you that it is for the ministry of god and they usually have <laughs> a, a better explanation i'm not saying it's the right thing but they actually have like a ready-made explanation for you based on on that yeah like I, i've seen you know these pastors explain why they get private jets and you'll be convinced but that doesn't mean it's true i just think it's a well-prepared speech anyways let us move straight to the next one simi says yes yeah, simi is becoming dramatic these days like too dramatic she says this hair host guy really did one fake oh for <laughs> for daughter uh she says is it by force to say oh for baby i did not greet you she did not greet you why you fake oh my god see me are, are, are we going to keep talking about this are you are you okay see me somebody should check on see me please why you fake oh my baby god save you that i'm working on myself ah god almighty see me let us move straight to the next one now let's talk about tonto dk here tonto dk posted recently why is the internet too calm i'm sure we are saving the violence for xmas tonto is right though yeah <laughs> tonto dk is right it's been like this for almost two weeks straight what is going on where is the violence <laughs> you can see tonto dk herself is looking for violence and you tell me Tonto DK, everybody knows she's a drama queen anyways. Here, somebody posted, be like now Tonto, Tonto, they enter my eyes now. And she replied, I know they give man money or car again. I just say make I tell now. If I enter your eye, I beg hold money. Now waiting at the fine now. I don't stop Indian love. Uh, well that's on the decay right there moving on to the next one this man stole iphone 12 pro max and this man can't tell me didn't see the camera or pay attention to it maybe his mind just wasn't there but look at how confident he, he is in the in the video and we've got people like this a lot of them in computer village i go to computer computer village sometimes twice or three times in a month sometimes in two weeks depends and i've heard a lot of stories you know whereby people come into the store act like you know they want to buy the product in the store show so much interest and stuff and ends up stealing you know from the sh from the store yeah and that's why i think these days they now have cameras in stores it wasn't like that you know a few years ago at computer village every store now have uh cameras somewhere in the store well i hope they find this guy moving on to the next news i think i've said this before this is dumb for me like what is the point you get champagne or nsc then you pour it on your on your phone you wash your hands you what is it to me <laughs> i think i said it. is it to make you feel rich i keep seeing videos like this 
and i don't understand the point there these are the same people that are it's not like they are rich they're not that rich but they want to show or feel i think so which is a good feeling to feel like you're rich by wasting money i call it that wastage um guys let us move straight to the next one this reminds me of what we discussed in the group yesterday yeah yeah like it was uh, an interesting conversation in the whatsapp group and those people that have been asking oh please can you add us you know to the group and stuff like that no no we just want to train ourselves you know to obey the rules and regulations to get to know each other more it's closed it's closed now nobody you know comes in and the laws are very very serious we, we remove you immediately you break any laws and that that's what we do and yeah so um, probably after a month or two we will accept new members okay back to the news now here we have Ruth Cadre saying the post is for those who believe in spirituality for uh, not for everyone for those dealing with shortness of breath dizziness panic attacks you've done everything your doctor asked you to do still no change listen she said you've done everything everything your doctor asked you to do they need to underline that you know that word here is an option to consider just know that your picture or an incantation made on your behalf has been put in bottle either thrown into the river or kept somewhere you are in a trapped cage with no air that's your body giving you a signal to seek deliverance may we be free from the evil of the land yeah i believe something like this you know exists rituals you know diabolical stuff actually exist they are real you know uh, yeah because in the group some people argued that it's not possible which is which i understand Moving on to the next one. <laughs> Guys, this is funny. Here it says how the president of the student union government, SUG president, Federal University of Duse, Jigawa State, arrived at the campus with a dozen security men. Who is this guy's father? I'm actually shocked myself. First lady beside the guy. <laughs> First lady. <laughs> okay, moving on. EFCC here. Somebody says, EFCC operatives at 4 a.m. this morning stormed the house of someone in Lekki. They broke the front door, took everyone in the house and locked them up in one of the rooms. They searched the house and after finding nothing, they freed them and apologized. This madness needs to stop. The people are lucky. EFCC didn't plant an exhibit. I'm telling you, I thought about that too, and it implicates the people. Anything is possible in Nigeria. Moving on to the next one, I'm gonna read this. So it's not a myth that someone can really get stuck while cheating with a married woman. This Yoruba man just caught someone with his love of his life, or love of my life or something. You all should stay safe i actually watched the video not uh, yoruba they might be togolese they're speaking um french and yoruba in the video and the yoruba doesn't even sound like the yoruba we speak in nigeria um yeah sounds like francophone countries but anyways if you want to watch the video i've got a video the lady got stuck why on the man and yeah the husband was somewhere i think he was the one with the camera saying stuff you know about the wife cheating now if, if you want to watch the video just um send me a dm on instagram but make sure you follow just follow me on instagram and yeah send me a dm i'll share the video i can't post the video here so i'm sorry about that yes um uh, let us read this and i want you guys to let me know what you think a lot of comments here people share their stories on social media every day anonymous anyways which is which is not not bad um people will definitely learn from that um uh, we're just going to quickly read this and move to the next one 
I met my first love when I was driving from Atikiti, let me just put it that way, Atikiti in early 2012. We started dating and we loved each other. She always sing it to my ear that she was lucky to have me. But after about three years in the relationship, which I had relaxed and believed that I have found the mother of my children, she came up with a story that her pastor said we are not compatible and that we will regret if we dare marry each other. I didn't force or persuade her. She left in 2015. I got into another relationship in 2016 March. This one was really ready to marry because she advised me to rent a two bedroom apartment. She even gave me money to get a set of chair and put in the living room for us to start living together. She came back home with the same story in 2017 February on her birthday that her pastor said I'm not the man for her. She left without looking back. To cut the story short, I did an admission for a girl in 2018 and we ended up dating. I gave her close marking until she had to travel back home because of the corona outbreak. She called me from home and told me that her pastor said she should not marry me. I begged and persuaded for about one month but she insisted. <sighs> okay, I still didn't see it as anything until last night when the girl I've been dating after Corona break, uh, we met at the teaching practice. We spent uh, most of the, our time together. She literally lived with me, but she went to Abuja, her parents' uh, place last week, Saturday. She's been giving me attitude until last night when she came out bluntly with the same story that her mom saw it in the dream that her current boyfriend is not okay it's not the person she should marry that cries await her if she dares what is going on with me i'm confused this is affecting me guys please please this guy need help even myself i'm confused seriously i'm confused what is really going on here do you think the guy should check himself or is there something wrong with the guy or does there's another person that is walking towards tarnishing the guy's image, you know, behind. Maybe a close friend or a close, I don't know. Moving on to the next news. Another story here. Story time today. My boyfriend sleeps a lot. Hi, I'm a 21 years old lady, still schooling. My boyfriend is close to 40 years and you're 21, okay? He's always working on weekends when we see uh, when we see, he will sleep all through and I will be alone by myself awake. He can sleep for six hours straight. Hey? Hey, <laughs> when he uh, wakes up, he will eat, drink beer and sleep again for seven hours. I don't know if all men sleep like this. This is my second boyfriend. I don't enjoy him. Like we went to the cinemas and he will sleep there too. Should I find someone my age? Maybe my age mate will be awake most times okay interesting story right here guys uh let me quickly chip this in according to professionals you know a doctor said eating barbecued fish meat can cause cancer um that's what professor henry said eating uh, meat or fish wrapped and barbecued with aluminium foil is dangerous with which consumers risk developing cancer in the long run that's what he said just want you guys to know and most of you that have been watching my videos or have relatives in nigeria or in nigeria you guys know that the cost of food is on the rise it's on the increase and everyone is talking about it in nigeria most people in nigeria even celebrities that's how serious it is the inflation in Nigeria currently. Here we have Wofai Fada, the comedian. She says, the cost of things in this country isn't even funny anymore. Stockfish, gas, palm oil, ETC, the list goes on. Let me not talk about diesel. Uh, that's topic for another day. Running a business here is so tiring and frustrating. She actually has a restaurant. so. I understand, you know. I mentioned this in the WhatsApp group yesterday too. Moving on to the next one. The federal government, I think I've said this before, don't want you to make money. Youth of Nigeria. CBN now plans 
agent on Binance P2P to trade with you and intentionally add crypto keywords to the payment, to payment transaction. So it can alert your bank to block your account. Avoid this guy, um, please. Best stay away from P2P now. They are, they are blocking you again? Like, what is wrong with Nigerian government? It says, oh my God. I actually tried selling to this guy yesterday uh, and we are smarter, a truth they can't fight. My new year resolution, traveling out of this country. Oh my God. What, the Nigerian government, what is going on? They, like I said, they really don't want the youth to eat. They keep, and you know, election is coming. So they don't want financial independence for us. They want a situation whereby we'll be pushed to beg them for money and how are we going to get the money we have to work for it and how are we going to work for it we have to be ready to do some crazy job during election that's what they're looking for they say an angry man is an angry man you can do anything for money at that point so the financial freedom is what they don't want moving on to the next one the lady that the rejected bribe, you know, from APC agents during Anambra election was awarded the sum of 1 million Naira and traditional title. Congratulations to her. I applaud her. That's a wise move right there. But a bold step still. Moving on to the next one, guys. This is funny. My people, my people. You may I saw this video, I started laughing. The UK police seems stressed out. It was like, he's definitely going to take paracetamol after this. <laughs> Do you know the part that got me was when he said, ah, you better go and take Prastamo, you better take Prastamo. Justice system in UK have abused me. You know what I need? They should refund this. There are two. I brought one. So, is he paid? Is he paid? Yeah, I paid. Come with a receipt from I don't know and then... I want to get a refund. I'm refunding it for him, but then he wanted... Yeah. He's got another one on the receipt and he wants me to refund both of them. Then I tried to well, refund it. I said, I no, 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 no. And I, and they I have the both still for him. But then he just started being abusive and no, then what, because what you know what you are doing. The you know, there, yeah, yeah they just call your attention because you are useless. Because you, some well, of you are, right yeah, exactly, it's not very right, right, but that is what the store that's right the truth. You know, I need to refund for this. I will leave and this And they've store. tried to do that. Uh, okay, let is them. That ultimately, is that ultimately why you're shouting in the shop? Because I'm feeling pain. They don't want to listen to me. You know, I was interviewed by Nam Robber. When I was in your firstly in the spot direct, the market said that so you are arrested. Yeah. Gonna need paracetamol after talking exactly. to you. Exactly. You have to say paracetamol because police they are no there's no justice in this country. I can refund this. Hey, let him refund this. Well, still refund. You have you take a lot of paracetamol because I'm still going to call you again. You will take a lot of paracetamol because your I need justice. I was interviewed by a nam robber when they injured me in spot direct Birmingham. And this is Birmingham Frederick Place again. They use you, police. I don't do you have criminal conviction. I don't know the number of police officers that have criminal conviction among you. That's why I'm saying. I really don't you don't understand. You go and ask Google. Go and ask West Midland Police website. You will see. Let them refund me and go. Do you have a card with you? Yes. You know, you've not seen anything. You will use. You know what they are giving to me when they convicted me all of free? I propose zone. You are still told to use GABA 15. They still told you are still going to use Lagatin. Yeah, 3 pounds 17. Lagatin. You know what they are calling Lagatin? It's a drug. It's a mental health drug. Do you know there is more grown up ways of trying to get a refund, mate? You know, I will leave the other one because they call you a friend, so I just yeah, need to yeah, video yeah, you. Yeah. Listen, listen, touch your card off the I just need to video you to be part of the movie. To be part of a movie? Yes. We won't, we won't the movie that Jesus is using to disgrace okay. all of you. All right, one because, one give me the receipt, please. It's part of the movie to disgrace what's, you. Um, what's your name? Ambassador Olalekon Akim Adebayo, LLM. We, we'll have to break that down. Ambassador. Right. Say you met Ambassador, Jesus Ambassador. How, how do you spell that? Tell them that the person that pissed why he this man interview. Shouting. Oh, sorry. Please. Okay, guys, like I said, today is story time, right? 
uh, and you might even learn from there or learn in the comment section below that's why I need your opinions on, on the stories let us read this one morning my wife did hips and bomb surgery in the past I never knew they were plastic until after we got married I'm a big bomb bomb kind of man so a big bomb bomb was part of what made me fall for her but never knew it was all fake until one day she asked me for maintenance money i was so confused but when i asked further questions she opened up to me about it how can a woman keep such a secret from a man like that is it right and this maintenance money is more than half a million naira seriously um i could I could easily detect fake bomb by looking at it and if it's so real which i doubt so real if i touch i, I will know <laughs> but yeah how come he didn't know and he said the maintenance money is like almost half more than half a million that is for only hips and bought maintenance i refused to give her and next thing the bots started looking somehow <laughs> God, started looking somehow. We have not even started having kids, and she's maintaining hips with almost one million naira. Please advise me. I'm not finding it funny. That's good for you. Eh? It's good for people like you. You two pushing bomb bomb up and down. Okay, guys, that is where I'm going to hold it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Question of the day. You can only listen to one for a week whiskey the davido Bonaboy, boy olamide rema joe boy fireboy oxlade zlatan naramali only one for a week fireboy fireboy anytime any day yeah what's yours leave it in the comment section below thank you once again uh don't forget to like subscribe to see you next time peace